Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Teal Garcia and on this channel we talk about everything related to photography and today that means that we're handling my client closet. In the beginning of the year I started a project called the 12 dresses of 2021 and I'm just making a dress a month to go on my client closet. I think client closets are super important and I just wanted to start making a few dresses. I say a few but 12 is not a few. 12 is more than a few. Uh, I wanted to start making them so I'd have pieces that were special to me and special to my client closet also to save a little money so this is going to be June's dress and the last dress that I'm gonna make in Hawaii unfortunately I'm kind of sad about it so this will be the last one that I make before we move and then I'm kind of excited when we leave Hawaii we're gonna go straight to LA to visit my mother-in-law for a few weeks I'm packing my sewing machine and I'm gonna hit up the was it the fashion district and you know I'm gonna find some really cool fabric while I'm in LA and I will be making a dress my July dress will be made while I'm in LA why not right like who needs vacation anyways but let's talk about today's dress so today's dress is going to we're gonna kind of go back to the pattern and the dress that I used for the second dress we did the pink dress it's a super easy pattern and I am also going back to lace. I know you're probably bored of sheer lace by now but it's a dress that I've wanted to make for a while and I've just been searching for the right fabric and I finally found it. So here is the fabric that I'm going to use. It's like a really it's I feel like it's okay so if I put it close it gets lighter. So like right there is probably about the right color. It's like a really deep burgundy color and I've been wanting a dress this color for a long time, especially a lace dress this color. I saw a picture of one that I absolutely loved and I didn't want to fork out the like $800 to buy it. So I've kind of just been, it's been in the back of my mind and I've wanted to make it. But I finally found the right fabric and the best part about this, you want to know how much this fabric costs? This fabric costs $3.00. And 30 cents a yard. I bought eight yards because I do want it to be super flowy. Usually for that dress pattern I do seven yards. I do six for the skirt and one for the sleeves. I bought eight just because I want to make sure that it's super flowy and I don't know. I don't want any reason. I don't want to feel like I should have made it flowier because in my head this dress is super duper flowy. So about eight yards and so eight yards and shipping was $45. I know. So I will also link, I love, I actually, the shop that I found on Etsy that sells this fabric is super awesome. Um, and I will link it below. I'll link this fabric as well as her shop. But it's got kind of a stretch to it, which I think will be cute. It'll have some room for baby bump. It's not stiff. It's actually, so it's really well done. So it's really like high quality. Like it's not like a, like a flimsy lace, um, but it also has this stuff in between here. So I do want to make sure that I kind of, instead of having straight lines everywhere, I do kind of want to cut around the flowers, like for the neckline and leave the little thingies, like the eyelash lace that you see like on tops now. So yeah, that's, that's where we're at. That's what I'm going to do. I'm a little sad this is my last dress in Hawaii, but I'm going to get it done and then I'm gonna be able to just like pack my stuff up and not mess with it again. <laughs> They're cutting a tree down across the street. If you hear weird noises. Okay, let's get started. cut two pieces three yards long for the skirt 
And just like the other one, we have to find the center of the waist, which I've done. I just folded those two big pieces in half and I found the center. And then I'm gonna measure out on each side the length that I want for the waist because then when we sew it up we'll leave the waist open and for this one I usually do 44 I believe is the waist measurement that I usually do to make things super adjustable but this fabric has a lot of stretch to it so I think I'm gonna do 40 instead so 40 without stretching the fabric at all will be the waist measurement so 40 all the way around, I will measure 10 here and 10 here, and then it'll be a total waist of 40. Okay, so we have so we have that done and then this so this now from here to here is going to be our waist so from here down we're going to sew up just this and that'll be the side of that it'll be the side of the skirt and then we're going to sew from here all the way down and that'll be the other side of the skirt and then our skirt is pretty much done as far as sewing goes did sew it twice I did the seam that will be you know when we flip it back over that seam and then I did another one just because the fabric is stretchy and I'm afraid it might get like pulled a little bit more than like a normal fabric so I just did two stitches just to make sure okay so I have this skirt done we just have it sewn together again like that tutorial if you want a full tutorial like step by step of pretty much what I'm doing with this dress. It's dress number two, the pink dress, and I go through step by step by step in that video. I don't always do step by step because a lot of times I'm trying to figure it out as I go, but that one is very step by step by step. So <laughs> Go check that one out if you need step by step. But now I need to figure out the sleeves. So what I want to do with the sleeves, I obviously want like a pretty design in the middle, but I think I want them a little bit longer than I've done in the past. And I want them like split open, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna try to figure out what to do with that. Something like, hold on, something like this. So it would go here and then the sleeve is like stupid long. I guess this is what we're gonna say. The, yeah. So the sleeve is like really long, but then it'll like split open to where it won't like hide your arms. I'm gonna have to figure that out though. Hang tight and I'll let you know when I decide. Okay, so let me explain what I did here. This edge right here is what's going to be like kind of like in the bust area and then go to the back. I usually do 36 right here, but I did 33. And the reason I did that is because I don't want it as low in the back as I usually make it. I just kind of wanted to switch things up a little bit. And then this is the length of the sleeve. It's probably entirely too long, but that I just want to make it as long as possible because I can always cut stuff off. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start like preparing the sleeves. I'm going to cut in here and kind of get like figure out where that like line is for the eyelash effect that I want. And then um, we'll go from there. So but that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna cut this to where I get like a nice pretty edge and that'll be what's kind of like in the middle of the bust area. See what I mean? And then I can kind of trim these down a little bit, but I'm just kind of getting that edge off so I don't have a harsh straight edge I have more of like a tailored edge we'll see we'll see how it goes okay so I have all the little edges clipped up there's I still see some spots I can clip up but I left all the little like 
for these and then I've lined them up now how the sleeves are gonna go which I think is super cute so I'm not gonna sew up any I'm just gonna kind of overlap a little bit and it's gonna create these like little peepholes I guess <laughs> before they like go their separate ways and I'm excited about that it's me super cute but yeah so I'm going to pin this how it is and then I'm going to attach it to the front of the skirt okay I'm trying, to, I'm trying to show you here where we're at um see it's really hard to show you but I want to show you before I clip the other pieces on so you see where we're at so I have this obviously the backs of the sleeves need to connect but then you see my super long sleeve I doubt I'm gonna leave this on this like this long but like I really wanted like an epic sleeve so that's kind of this is where we're at so I need to attach the back the back of the sleeves and then figure out the actual sleeves but I want to connect the back of the sleeves first so I can at least like put this on my body without it falling off okay so just like the other dress the I think I, atta I attached the sleeves the, this way with the pink dress and also the blue dress you lay it out facing away from you so here's the back of the dress here with nothing attached and then you're gonna bring the back of the sleeve down here's the back part of that so that 33 inches that we measured and you're just gonna find the spot for it a lot of times I put it right under the armpit I don't think for this one I am because the lace is kind of it's not delicate but it's stretchy and it's gonna be holding up a lot of weight so I think I'm gonna put it in a little bit farther and maybe even like fold it down before I sew it together like fold it once and then sew it and then I'll do that on both sides and I will show you okay so we have the back of the sleeve sewn in and I did sew them in a little bit on either side so then again just like that pink dress it adds I sewed them down a little bit so it adds what's gonna be the pocket for a drawstring so I need to figure out a drawstring I think I'm just gonna make a drawstring out of this extra material and then I have to figure out the sleeves I'm not gonna lie to you like look how long the sleeves are <laughs> I don't know if I hate it but I'm going to see because again I can always make them shorter so we're gonna see what that does also this dress is very heavy like not necessarily the fabric's not necessarily heavy it's just super heavy because there's so much of it but yeah okay that's where I'm at I'm gonna try to make a drawstring because I really want to be able to put it on my body and figure out what to do so for the drawstring I'm probably just gonna cut a really long piece of the lace sew it together turn it inside out and make a drawstring that matches the dress perfectly because I am gonna have to put one kind of up top also so I do want it to like match really really well but yeah okay that's where I'm at I'm gonna make some drawstrings okay so the little pull through method wasn't working and it's because it's lace and my little poker thingy just kept going through and I couldn't bring it, like I couldn't get it out. It wouldn't turn inside out for me very easily. So what I'm doing now, I'm just taking the piece that I had and I'm folding, I'll try to show you with one hand. I'm trying, I'm folding one side in and the other side in and then I'm folding them in half to kind of hide the raw edge and then I'm just sewing it up. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, see, so not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's literally gonna be holding the dress up. So it's nice and sturdy. All right, I have the tie added, and I just have it kind of coming out of a piece of the lace. So there's the back of the dress done. It's so gorgeous. All right, so next. Oh, also, let me, real quick. Also, I decided not to put a tie up here for now because I think, so this one blends in super well, but that one will just be across somebody's back so you would see it. I think I want to try to find like a really pretty ribbon or something that matches just something that like looks prettier than just adding some more of this 
in the back. Know what I'm saying? The next thing I want to do is the front here. It's kind of like super far apart split. I want to just kind of like tack. So a few of these. I know I said I didn't want to like sew it up that much in the front. But I'm not really going to sew it up. I just want to tack it to where it looks like it opened, but it's going to like lay a little bit flatter. Like I tried it on and it just doesn't lay very flat with this. So I just want to do that. Even if it's just this one and then like the next one, I just want to tack it just a tiny bit. I can always take them out, but for now I want to. Okay, just kidding. I went to start to tack those up and I really didn't like the way it looked, but I did tack this one down just because it was sticking up a little bit. So I did tack that down, so that's there. All right. So now I have to figure out what to do with the sleeves. I think I'm gonna make them a little shorter because they are a little bit obnoxious. They go like, almost like, they go past like my knee if I have the dress on. So I'm gonna make them a little bit shorter but then I think I'm gonna split them also. I'm gonna split it up the middle-ish somewhere and so that your arm can come out. But I think I'm gonna, so I'm gonna split it first and then I'm gonna make it shorter. Cause I'd rather, cause like once I cut it shorter, like I can't take it back. So I just wanna split them up the middle first and then we'll cut them. And then I am gonna split it like like this, I'm not gonna just like cut a straight line. And then the underside too, I'm going to like fray off, if that makes sense, like the same thing as the other stuff, just kind of make it look a little more than a straight line. We're anti-straight lines with this dress. 